Welcome. In this video, we'll be taking a look at this Green Pulse by Acacia 120 watt portable foldable solar panel. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So I also have a video on the Green Pulse 299.7 watt hour power station. And I'll put a link below to that and my other videos on Acacia's products, including the Space Acacia tent. So let's get this open. So another box in here, I'll get that out and pull it back up here. So we have another box. So this is max power at standard test conditions is 120 watts. Open circuit voltage is 24.4 volts. Short circuit current is 6.11 amps. Optimum circuit voltage is 20.9 volts. Optimum circuit current is 5.74 amps. So let's get this open. So here we have the panel. Pull the foam off here. So we have a manual here. Let's take a quick look at it. So we have a welcome card, a certificate of authenticity, and here's the manual. So you'll want to read through this. Here we have a lot of that technical data. Weight on this is nine pounds plus or minus a half pound. Here we have the folded and unfolded dimensions. So this is a monocrystalline solar cell. So that's the better type. Connector type is MC4. So this comes with a solar panel, MC4 output connector and user manual. This talks about how to unfold it. It has kickstands. It says set the best angle. So you want the sun 90 degrees to the panel has a storage bag with the cable. You can connect this up to your power station. So this talks about maintaining high charge efficiency. So if it's cloudy or the sun's at the wrong angle, you're not going to get good efficiency. This can also be set up in parallel connection. It does need an additional connector to do that. When you set this up in parallel, you're going to have more watts at the same voltage. So here we have the cable, if I can get this open. So these are the MC4 connectors, and this is the XT60 connector. So let's open up the pouch here. So inside here we have the MC4 connectors for the solar panel. So you'll connect these together like so. And then you plug this into your power station. Now you want the solar panel in the sun and it would be best to put your power station in a shady area. So maybe you have a picnic table, you could slide the power station under and then you can have this sticking out there in the sun. So I'll tuck these in here for now. And these other wires can go in here too. So this has a handle on it. So this does have grommets on it. Let's see, probably four, unless I find more. And then these kickstands come up. It has a strap on it. And then this is elastic here. So it helps kind of help them fold in. And then it has these snaps here to hold these shut. So we can open this up like so. Now I don't have enough room on my bench, obviously, to open these all the way. And these are a semi-rigid panel, so they have a little bit of flex to them. And it has uh, magnets here to help hold it closed. So there is an aiming device here. There's a little dot. So that dot will cast a shadow. So you really want to try and aim this with the dot in the middle. So to do that, you'll rotate the whole panel to face the sun, and then you'll adjust the angle with those legs. Now, when you're doing solar charging, even a leaf or something small covering part of one of these panels can hurt the efficiency. So you want to make sure they're clean and facing the sun so you can take advantage of the full output. So I just wanted to do a little intro of this on my bench. It's actually nighttime as I film this. I'm going to wait till daytime. I'll take these out and we'll test charging with these. So I'll cut to that now. Okay, it's a couple days later. We had a lot of overcast days there, but now I can test the solar panel. So I'll get it spread out. Before I do that, I'll take the cable out. Okay, so I have this set up and I have to say I'm a little disappointed how this all worked out. If we look here, it's aimed almost perfectly. I really wanted to have the aim be off and show you how I aim it properly, but I did it right the first time. I guess that's kind of my luck. So now I want to get the battery hooked up. So here I have the battery, the green pulse battery. Of course, this will work with other power stations. I need to connect up these connectors here. So I'll snap them together red to red and black to black. And now I can plug this XT60 connector into the power station. So let's turn this on and here it's charging. Now it's right around freezing temperature. It's just above freezing. 
and you don't want to charge lithium batteries in below freezing temperatures, but this has been inside, so this is above freezing temperature, and as it charges, it will stay above. So we're really right on the border. Now another thing is the solar panels need the sun, but your power station, it's best to keep cool. So at a minimum, you can put it in the shade of the solar panels, but this has this cable on here. If you can put this under a picnic table or the shadiest, coolest spot you have, that's the best. And then just have the solar panels out in the sun. So we're currently drawing around 40 watts, maybe 45 watts. Now I said I had that aimed well, but this could be tilted up just a little bit to get that dot in the center of that circle. So we have the kickstands on the back, and these will automatically adjust if we lift up on the top of the solar panel. So I'll do that. And now we're right in the center. Now this guide is only on this solar panel, so I want to gauge the angle of this and just raise the other so it's similar. So I just changed the angle, but if this was off to the left or right, then you'd want to rotate the whole panel to get that dot in the middle. So we're currently drawing around 27 watts. Now if we look at the panel, my tripod is in the lower corner. Let's get that out of there. You really don't want any part of the panel being shaded. So now we're getting around 29, 30 watts. Now this is a 120 watt panel. There are a couple of reasons why we're at around 30 some watts. One is that a cloud was covering the sun, and also it's winter time, so in the summertime, I should get better charging out of this. So the sun has come back out, and now we're up to 37, it's kind of popping up to around 40 watts. Now this dot is really nice for aiming. Another way you can aim is to take a can, this is just a paint can, and you can hold it against the solar panel. It's kind of hard to show on camera, but if there's no shadow, that means you have it perfectly aimed. If the shadow goes off to one side or another, you want to move your panel until the shadow disappears. Okay, so I just aimed each panel using the can, and it's kind of hard to see on here, but I'm getting around 48 watts now. It's kind of jumping around. So if you have a super sunny day, it might not matter as much how you aim it, but on a day like today where I'm trying to get every little bit of energy out of the sun, it might be good to do some manually aiming on it. Now the sun is going to move, so you also need to move this as the sun moves to get the most optimum charging. And that's not just this solar panel, that's any solar panel that doesn't have specific sun tracking in it. But again, if you have a really sunny day, it's going to be less important than on a day like today where these are almost upright because they're facing south in the wintertime. In the summertime, the sun will be more overhead, and these will be able to take in more power. So that's the Green Pulse by Acacia 120 watt solar panel. I really like how compact this is when it's folded up. It also has that nice carrying handle, so it's easy to transport. And then it's very thin, so if you're going camping or something, you can easily slide this in your luggage compartment amongst your gear. And this has those MC4 connectors that are the standard connector you see on solar panels, so you can connect this up to different systems. And of course, I have it connected up here to the Green Pulse power station. Now at 40 watts of charging, uh, this would probably take probably seven to eight hours to fully charge, but I'm at 61% charge, so this should charge up completely in a couple hours. But at a charge rate like this, if I had a portable fridge plugged into here, I could potentially run it indefinitely, so long as the sun is shining enough to keep the battery up. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please kick like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.